Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani and today's video I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful shawl. It's called the Meraki shawl and it's a super simple and easy pattern. It's made with garter stitch and it's a super repetitive pattern which is perfect to have as a weekend project to bring it on the go or to watch TV. So before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you're gonna get those notifications all the time when I upload a new video. So now let's get into the video. So as you can see, we're gonna work this shawl from the bottom to the top and it's made with garter stitch as I mentioned before. It's very, very easy and in here you can see the color change it's just some simple stripes. So for this shawl, I'm going to be using my Clover Interchangeable Knitting Needles, the 5.5 millimeter ones. And this is perfect because you can change the cable. So you can start with a smaller cable and then switch it up to a longer one. In this case, I'm gonna start right away with the longer one. You will also need three skeins of yarn. This one is the Red Heart Soft. And as you can see, it's a category four. And this skein comes with 234 meters, 141 grams. Uh, you will also need a measuring tape, a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and this is optional, but it's super good for these kind of projects to have these little things to put on your needle so you can bring your project wherever you want and the stitches are not gonna be dropping and you're not gonna lose your project. But obviously that's optional. So to begin, make a slip knot. place it on your needle and this will be the very first row just this single stitch here will be the first row and I'll explain that after so row number two we're gonna increase right away and to do that you're gonna insert your needle knit one don't drop your stitch yet and knit again the back of the stitch so we need the front and we need the back and that will be the increase that we're gonna be doing along the shawl so now we have two stitches on the needles row number three need the first stitch and increase in the second stitch and remember, to increase, we're going to knit the front. Don't drop your stitch yet. And knit the back. Now you have three stitches on your needles. Let's go to row number four knit the first stitch and increase in the second stitch so knit the front don't drop and knit the back so we're gonna do this in every single row knit the first and the increase will be in the second stitch and then in here we have the last stitch just knit it as usual so this is row number four so as you can notice we are increasing one stitch on every single row that means that if we have 50 stitches on the needles we are in row number 50 so that's gonna be extremely helpful and super easy to know what row are we knitting so don't worry about counting the rows, especially in garter stitch that I find it's a little bit more difficult to count the rows. 
So now you just have to count the amount of stitches and you will know the row number. And so basically this is what we're going to be doing along the entire project. Knit the first stitch, increase in the second and then knit all the stitches that you have left. And this is how your shawl should be increasing and it's gonna be a beautiful giant triangle. <laughs> So row number six, knit the first stitch, increase in the second stitch, knit the front, don't drop yet, knit the back, and then knit the three stitches left on your needles. And you're gonna repeat this sequence until row 103. So you should have one of three stitches on your needles with color A. So here I have my 103 rows of color A and now we're gonna bring color B to this game. So bring the new color and we're gonna start row number 104 with the new color. So to do this, grab your yarn, leave a long tail that we can weave in at the end and the first stitch might be a little bit difficult so do it slow and knit the first stitch and after the increase you don't have to be holding the yarn with the, your right hand anymore so we did increase and now we continue knitting until this row is completed. So here I am at the end of this row. Now I'm going to go back again with color B. So knit one more row with color B. So here I am again, now we're switching to color A and we're not cutting the yarn when we're switching colors, okay? So now we have color B at the back and color A here and now this first stitch with color A again, try to do it as tight as possible so then you're not going to notice that um, color change. So now we're gonna go back and forth with color A again. So this way we are creating those stripes that it's gonna look very cute after. So here I am again. Now we're switching again to color B. And we're gonna knit back and forth again with color B. back again with color A. Remember, try to knit the first stitch very tight and let's do it one more time back and forth with color A. So you should have two stripes of each color before continue knitting with color B. So now we can cut color A, leaving a long tail. Remember that we get weaving at the end. And now continue knitting the same way with color B until you reach the row number 162. So when you have 162 stitches on your needles, you are gonna stop because we're switching to color C. Okay, so here I'm done with color B, I'm in row number 162. And this part is very important. We're gonna switch colors again, but you have to make sure that the side that we are changing colors is always the same. 
okay so here I have the first the tails from the first color changing and now we're gonna do it in the same side so make sure that it's the same side okay and in here I have approximately 15 meters of yarn which is gonna be enough um, for the stripes okay so approximately 15 meters so bring color C and we're gonna do exactly the same process that we did when we were switching from color A to B but in this case we're gonna do one extra stripe so before we had two stripes of each colors now we're gonna have three stripes of each color So here I have three stripes of the navy blue and three stripes of the light blue. So color B and C. Now we can cut color B and continue knitting with color C. This is the leftover that I have from the color B. Okay, so now continue knitting until you reach 211 so you should have 211 stitches on your needles well so I'm very fast <laughs> and here I am at the end of this shawl now we're gonna cast off I have here approximately 8 meters of yarn which is enough to cast off so to cast off knit the first stitch knit the second one and then bring the first one over the second and it's gonna be a little bit difficult the first stitch and then drop it okay so we'll do it again knit slip over and drop knit slip the first one and drop it okay so repeat this take your time and make sure that you are doing your stitches or your cast off very loose because if you do this process extremely tight then the top of your shawl it's gonna be very very tight and we don't want that so try to do this process as loose as possible but not like extremely loose either you know what I mean <laughs> I know you know what I mean so try to do it loose enough and once you're done this is how your shawl should be looking now all you have to do is within those ends which are just four and so that's very very nice because we're not cutting the yarn on each row so we just have four tails to weave in it's perfect so I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video remember that the reading pattern is going to be on my blog the link it's always in the description box below and I will link also all the materials that I used in this video so if you find that this tutorial was helpful and fun please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course follow me on social media I have Facebook and Instagram and that's all for today's video tag me please with the hashtag Meraki shawl so I can see your beautiful projects and I'll see you in the next video bye